so very good morning to all the students of class 9th d we were revising the chapter reach for the top and now part 2 today maria shara pune fine i have written some points but with by inserting blanks into it that blank you will be giving me the answer to this okay so online children as well as offline children both you can respond but by raising hands not like that you cannot give the direct answers okay so what is the background of uh, uh, maria sharapova she is russian fine nationality is russian she was sent for training to dash at the age of dash raise your hands 1 2 3 4 5 6 three hand raised huh 6 7 8 in online children just want to see kitno ko answer aata hai yes ashna answer this to florida usa age of 9 she was sent to usa or particularly florida fine or united states also you can write she was sent to united states at the age of 9 and at the age of dash she became world's number 1 tennis player who will tell me just raise your hand it should be exact answer yes prachi is the only one who is 18 yes correct answer so well done prachi for this 18 at the age of barely 18 she became world's number 1 tennis player in women's category so that is the biggest achievement at the age of 18 we people are still thinking of making careers and all and she was at the peak point of her career at very tender age clear so that's why this chapter is going to give us inspiration that we have to reach for the top yeah let me give you the gist and then i will share the screen uh, with you all okay and you people are having books chal okay. jaye so we beehive ki revision chal rahi everybody will bring beehive first this week behind next week moments okay because revision test 1 has my plus writing skills revision test 2 has moments plus grammar skills and then at last full syllabus so maria sharapova was born in the frozen plains of siberia okay she was born in the frozen plains of siberia in russia at the age of 9 she was sent to florida in the usa okay particularly you have to write this in florida so she was just 9 year old she was sent to florida for the training of tennis you know her father what is the name of her, her father anybody remember yuri yes very good so father's name is yuri he was also very particular about the learning of Yes, Riyanshika, well done. So his uh, her father, you know, he uh, was working harder for the tennis training for uh, his daughter. What is the name of the mother? Yelena. Yes, correct answer, Yelena. So both letters Y. Okay. Yelena uh, had to stay back. She could not go with. Maria Sharapova to Florida because of visa restrictions. She could not get her visa, so uh, Maria Sharapova, along with her mother, went to Florida at the age of nine, along with her father only. So she was missing her mother. At this is the age when we, you know, class tenth students don't know they are joining the meet. Okay, with a timetable uh, should be clear. Okay, to everyone, those who are joining nine. Class, I am talking. So uh, I was talking that he went to Florida along with his daughter. So wife could not go because of visa restrictions. So he was very particular about the training, though he had to work so hard. So when she went over there, she was the youngest pupil at that academy. At that academy of tennis, she was the youngest pupil. Word pupil means a student. Right, she was the youngest. You can say learner, very. Uh, you can say just nine year old. Otherwise, teenagers were there and all. And you know, other pupils harassed her a lot, so she faced bullying over there. Fine, she went to a new place and people started bullying her. 
she felt depressed she became more uh, rather than the two uh, conditions thi uske paas two conditions were there like if she would have taken those bullying seriously she would have come back to her place russia but she thought rather than you know why my parents are working hard for me she was facing the separation from mother because mother could not come and father was working harder then she decided she became more tougher she became mentally stronger so she uh, bagged the women's singles crown at wimbledon in 2004 so tennis no doubt is a sport for her but she is so honest that she admitted at the last that yes it's a business as well because a lot of money is there in this sport fine so she admits it now let me share the screen with you all as you can see beta screen is visible you should know the facts also at which date she became the world's number 1 position 22nd august 2005 okay 22 august those are pawns to so the world's number 1 position in women's tennis okay overall tennis mein likhoge in women's tennis and almost this happened in no time she was years of hard work was there so this siberian teenager it took her 4 years to reach this pinnacle she was lucky also you can say because many players they keep on working for many years even then they could not reach such zenith of success so she was the lucky one you can see in this picture she is holding her trophy of when she became world's number 1 in women single in 2004 However, the rapid ascent in a fiercely competitive world began nine years before with the level of sacrifice. So, what is the what is the if you get a question, what are the sacrifices she made? At the age of nine, she has to got separated with her mother. That is the biggest sacrifice. She faced bullying. That is also, and she never told anyone about this. She was facing it, and she was becoming brave, or braver than before. Fine. so two year separation from her mother yelena you should know the span of the years as well clear then maria has mentioned this i used to be so lonely she recalls how, how she missed her mother terribly father was busy in working so that he could pay for the tennis and even he she could not meet her, her father as well because father was so busy he would come to visit uh maria but not at regular intervals as he was busy in earning money for his daughter so at 8 pm usne jo mention kiya hai that she would go to bed the other tennis pupils they would return at 11 pm you know and after coming she was very particular about her sleep as well and 8 pm she was sleeping at 11 pm they were waking her up to clean the room so this is bullying in itself so chote se bacche ko aap utha ke and you were saying this clean the room and mess was created by the elder uh, ones fine older ones i must say but it became she quietly followed it she quietly became more determined and mentally tough she learned how to take care of myself जब तक हम शेल्टर में होते हैं अब इन आवर पेरेंट्स यू नो दे डू नॉट लेट अस गो थ्रू द पेन्स दे डू नॉट लेट अस फेस द ट्रबिलियंसेस इन लाइफ एंड डिफिकल्टीज तभी हम ज्यादा नाजुक बन जाते हैं आई गेस वी डू नॉट बिकम रफ एंड टफ सो बिकॉज आवर पेरेंट्स आर सेफ गार्डिंग अस ऑल द टाइम सो बट शी वेंट आउट एट वेरी यंग एज शी लर्न लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स समटाइम्स यू नो दैट हंगर फॉर और पैशन फॉर द लर्निंग वॉज इंक्रीजिंग and she thought it's better to face humiliation it's better to face insults so this is nothing in front of my learning ki kya ho gaya agar i am just facing this but what is more important my learning so toughness runs through maria even today and uh, in 2004 at wimbledon she got that women's singles crown to her meteoric rise what do you mean by if you get a question meteoric rise what does it mean 
very rapid. Meteors are concept of your constellation and in the space you might have read about meteors in the science. So very uh, quick movement is there. So they are saying meteoric rises, very rapid rise. Within four years, she was like up to from ground to the zenith. So while her journey from the frozen plains of Siberia to the summit of women's tennis has touched the hearts of tennis fans. And she has mentioned it. When she was asked about her uh, nature, she said that I'm very competitive. I work hard at what I do. It's my job. This is the only mantra for success. So what is the mantra for success according to Sharapova? Uh, competitive spirit and working hard. That's it and, work and be in the present moment only. Clear? And now let me tell you about his accent. In which accent she talks? Magan, yada? British? American accent? USA, fine. So American accent is there. That you have to be smart enough to decode it. So though uh, Maria Sharapova speaks with a pronounced American accent, but she is proud of her Russian nationality as well. She never says that I belong to USA. She loves the USA as well, but she is very proud of her Russian nationality. She says, I am Russian. It's true that the US is a big part of my life, but I have Russian citizenship. My blood is totally Russian. I will play the Olympics for Russia if they want me. So she was playing on the behalf of USA first, and she's, she was ready to play for Russia as well. Now, let me tell you about the hobbies of Maria Sharapova. Anybody remembers? Fashion, yes, singing, very good, dancing, <coughs> just like any other teenager. They are also human beings. <coughs> Sorry. She loves reading novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. I told you about Arthur Conan Doyle. What sort of a writer he is? Yes, he writes detective novels in which suspiciousness is there, secrets are there, a lot of interest is created. So suspense is there, yes. So she loves to read the novels of Arthur Conan Doyle. And uh, even she loves to wear evening gowns. And she loves to eat pancakes with chocolate spread and fizzy orange drinks, fine. So she's just like any teenager. She loves to eat and uh, dress up and go out in that way. Maria Sharapova cannot be pigeonholed or categorized. Why they have said so? Pigeon hold ka matlab kya hote? Restricted. I told you pigeon holes are the, uh, the way you have in staff room and Almira is there. Pigeon holes are there. Small, uh, you can say, drawers are given to you with law. So you cannot, you can say, uh, categorize Maria. Fine. Her talent is and ready, uh, readiness to sacrifice is uh, there and that's why she became number one. And uh, Next is, it's, we are about to end it, beta bus, stay there. When somebody asks her about her monetary gains, means money related gains, she admits honestly that yes, money is a motivation as well. Kuch log bol hai na, that I just want trophies and medals and people praise me, that's enough for me. But she says, no, this is not true. I love to be at number one position. I love to bag titles. I love to bag medals and trophies but at the same time money is a one motivation also because this is huge amount they get so that's the dream that kept me going the most important thing is to become number one in the world i think money is secondary yes it is important but main goal is to be at the topmost position Yes, now I'll be asking the questions to you all. Be ready to give answers to me, okay? Uh, yes, Soumya, what is the message which we get from this chapter? Very easy question. What is the message? Determination.
we should curb our distractions anything else anybody uh, yes never be, never be depressed in life yes sit down please or yes focus on the goal and have faith on yourself yes yes one should be mentally tough see a lot of students when speak a lot of messages we get okay so we should have unwavering desire to succeed and we should be ready to sacrifice as well agar success lena hai to you have to be uh, ready to give a lot of efforts as well bina uh, you can say sacrifice ke you cannot attain it so next question which i'm going to ask is uh yes jasleen tell me about maria's stay and training in the usa what she has faced during the training yes she faced a lot of bullying yes she would sleep at 8 and uh, senior pupils would wake her up at 11 and would ask her to clean the room yes she could not meet her father because he was busy earning money she missed her mother badly as well fine so she uh, these are the things she faced during the training at florida okay uh, yes divya wait jia mago unmute yourself ab online children ki turn bhi aa jaye those who speak i'm going to ask them only because that waste her time i keep on asking many students yes ma'am <coughs> Yes, ma'am. Hobbies and interests of Maria. Ma'am, she uh, like any teenager. She loves singing, dancing, uh, and she uh, loves to read the novel, novels also. Of Arthur Conan Doyle. You have to tell the name as well, okay? okay. Any point uh, you can mute yourself. Any point you would like to add up, uh, Riyanshika? Yes, complete this. The teacher wants to speak. Yes, the teacher. He also likes to uh, wear evening. Voice is not audible. She also, she also likes to wear evening gowns and eat eat chocolate. Uh, chocolate spread with fizzy orange drinks. Yes, that you uh, can add up into this. Very good. You can mute yourself. Fine. While talking about Maria's hobbies and interests, my voice is audible. I have not. Uh, my today, sorry, I forgot to wear it. My voice was audible to you all, beta. Without mic, be. आपको आवाज आ रही थी सबको. I just realized I have. Or got on to wear the mic. It's okay. Fine, they got my voice. Fine. Yes. So hobbies and interests of Maria: uh, fashion, singing, dancing, to read novels of Arthur Conan Doyle, fond of sophisticated evening gowns. She loves pancakes with chocolate spread accompanied with fizzy orange drinks. Fine. Every point is clear now. Which years can be deemed as landmarks in Maria's career? Yes, Prachi. Which year can be deemed as you can say highlight of her career? For yes, and yes. So let me complete this. Sit down, please. Prachi has given the answer. This year, uh, the year two thousand four, in which she won the women's singles at Wimbledon, okay, and in two thousand five, uh, she attended the world. She attained the world's number one position in women's tennis. So, number one position, which was in two thousand five, me, I P. Clear? What is the secret of Maria's success, Divya?
Sidan. So determination and mental toughness are the secrets of Maria's success. She was highly competitive in spirit. Challenges faced by her made her more mentally tough and alert. But in long question, uh, theme, message, title justification, character sketches, and sacrifice uh, one sentence from the uh, book or a content can be there to explain that. Okay, for long questions, anything can be there. Is that clear to you all? Any doubt in this chapter? Bas karu? Kaun kare bas karu? One chapter done that you are sufficient hota hai aapke liye na dose itna. Anything else? Why are you feeling so low? All of you. As if sleepy and tired and as if parents ne jabar dosti school bhej diye. Huh? Should be active enough. 